Last year, I happened to find a lot of good things in the trash. And for one of the garbage day videos, I found this. I still haven't published that because I haven't gone through all the stuff. Well, I feel like it's finally time to clean this up because I need to draw some images, some diagrams, some data sheets. And I thought this was pretty cool. The manufacturing mark is so difficult to see. I had to scrape away so much tape and use WD-40 on it. But it says Sheboygan, Wisconsin. It's just so hard to see. This screw undoes. This one is stuck. And no amount of WD-40 will undo it. So we might have to get creative or just leave it the way it is. Which would be unfortunate. It operates with a crisscross steel cable system. It has these metal bars on the sides that keep the, the board straight. It has these little pulleys that this runs on. The steel cable might not be good enough, but I feel like we can still salvage it. It just depends on how it feels. And then we need to remove all this tape. So the person that I got this from, well, I never met them. I only got this because they died and they left all their things out on the side of the road that the family didn't want. And he was a real estate agent for like 50 years, ever since the World War II, if I remember right. And so this is probably something that he used just offhand on maybe images or whatever it may be, but it looks like he did a lot of cutting. And there's a lot of business card size cuts on here. So I could see it's definitely been used quite a bit. Yeah, so this little bolt is just turning inside of that plastic, unfortunately. Hmm. Man, this is so much junk in here. draw lines linking these together so I don't mix them up. I do like how simple this is. Now, this is crimped around it.
Well, it appears that this, it's the other side that I was sitting, by the way. It appears like this was crimped on here and I'll have to clean it in place. Oh, wow, it actually, it sealed up this crack by me hammering it. I did do something then, because there was a big crack here. That WD-40, that sure breaks through a lot of gunk. I ended up drilling out the stud because I just couldn't get it undone, even with heat. So I then, I don't have anything to grip with in here. No pliers, no clamps, nothing. Nothing really works for this. So this little vise and this broken pipe wrench. And it just kept turning. And then I couldn't get a good grip on this. This is too tiny. I'm just going to have to do... The only thing you can do whenever you get something this stuck Oh my God, this is tight. Wow. I was never gonna get this off. Holy cow. Wow, that was like welded on there. I wonder if I can salvage the washer. Yeah, that comes off, okay.
Man, that was stuck. I find it interesting how the lines appeared where the uh, varnish has cracked. Definitely I'll need to let this sit for a bit and dry out before I do too much else. There's so much tape just everywhere on this. Do you remember how it looked when it was new, when I when I first got it? I don't because I can't place when that was for some reason. I just have a gap in my memory. Well, you are our channel video editor. Oh, you know what? One reason why you probably don't remember it is because I still haven't finished that video. Oh, probably. It's it's whenever there was all those rows of trash cans. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, got and, it. And and this was yeah. amongst that. Right, right. I I thought so, but I was like. Can't really remember. There is just so much tape. Man, this guy, he just Oh, I hate that sound so much. <laughs> Judging by the cuts that he made on this, I imagine he probably did this for cutting business cards or something like that. Maybe. piece of tape but it looks like it's just a, a, a hmm. mm. well, let, me, let me see see that's the problem the sander won't I have to okay yeah that's just the wood so I switched to a 400 grit sandpaper I didn't have anything in between but that should be good we have the sides cleaned up we have any splinter possibilities cleaned up as well I'm gonna get a little bit of water and wipe this down and we'll let it dry and I was thinking about painting these sides, but I can just put varnish on them. It's a little bit uneven, but is it actually? Yeah, it is actually uneven. Maybe I'll set it on something to warp it eventually, but for now, it's fine. You know what it reminds me of? What? Uh, the top of my desk when I was in elementary school. Yeah, I can see that. We had those old, those neat old desks. There was some water damage at the top, um, but that's okay. I mentioned the water damage, not so much because it'll affect the stir stability the stability um, but it's just that the varnish came off because it was water damaged i'm going to do a few passes on this so we have our polyurethane and this stuff's about 20 years old funnily enough now let's look at the the target I'm not going to do the back just yet. I'm going to let it dry. I don't want to seal it all the way up, you know? Now the metal, the metal doesn't absorb anything, so I don't have to worry about that. And this, oh, it's getting all tacky. Now granted, this stuff is pretty old, but I'm kind of intentionally laying it on thick. Can 
they, look at that, like, striation or whatever the term is. Not in the specular reflection, but in the actual surface of it. Isn't that weird? Oh, yeah. I think it's something to do with 400 grit sandpaper. Huh. That's so wild. It's been about five days and this has dried perfectly. You know, I actually don't want this to be too smooth because I don't want the paper to be sliding around. This is just ever so slightly creepy. Well, let's see if we can go back together. I will need, yeah, I will need to work on that. I forgot to clean these, so I just sanded them real quick. For some reason, I've gotten overcome with a, or overtaken with a bunch of hiccups. <laughs> Thankfully, as soon as I started filming, they went away, but it's weird, weird response. One. The one that I didn't have to cook had had some really thick stuff on it. And the one that I did have to cook to get the nut off, it um, had a lot of oxide, so I'm having to clean this up quite a bit. I'm probably gonna have to remove this again eventually, but you know, this does work. It is a bit rough in some places, but it does work. And I'm just trying to get these wires lined up. Oh, that's weird. For the time being, I've just hooked it on there with a bolt, an M, uh, M5, M4, something like that. Some metric nut that is almost the right size, but it's not the right size. I found the last screw on the ground, so that's accounted for. Oh, there we go. I was able to push it back and forth a little bit. Okay. I have something I need to draw, and this should do the trick. Let's see, though. Is it lined up?
think I need to tension it more. I'll be looking for a new piece of string, I guess. Well, I was just about to make a diagram of this when finally putting this down on a flat surface, I noticed some issues. It has potato chipped. And it was already like that before, so I'll have to solve that with some heavy weights, most likely. Well, guys, this finally came in and I found it on Amazon. It's sold as aircraft cable coated, and this is, I believe, 1 16th of an inch. They did sell thinner, but I actually looked for a listing for cable that had negative reviews because a lot of people buy this to stiffen articles of clothing, such as the brim of a hat, and people complain that this wasn't stiff enough. Well, I want it for this. And if you guys end up needing some, for something like this. I have 100 feet of this. I may never use it. Let me know if you need some. I might just be able to mail you 10 feet of it or however much you need. So and so that would save you having to spend $13 or whatever to order 100 feet of it that you also will only use maybe six feet of. So let's get this hooked up. Oh, right. The straight edge is in the workshop. Let's take this to the workshop. I'd also like to mention that I was able to draw this even without this, the parallel straight edge. And I'm really happy with having this nice little angled drawing uh, board. I now see that this is not 1 16th. This is, well, I guess the 5 1 28th would actually be better more like it. So they did sell at 5 one twenty-eighths, and it was cheaper on Amazon. So I recommend that. This seems about the same flexibility. So that's good at least. It's a little bit fat, but it will fit on it. So that's okay. It'll work, but I should have gotten the 5 one twenty-eighths. I guess. Yeah. No sense in cutting these zip ties. I can just pull it out and make these tighter. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit thick. I'll keep it for other projects, but I recommend not getting 116th. I recommend getting 1128th. It should work still. Let's see if I can cut it.
almost a two-person job, really. I wish there was actually two screws, so then I could pull just one. Yeah, so I might see about getting myself some five 128 inch wire. Or if you are restoring one similar and you want to buy the five 128, since I gave you the information that you need five 128 and it's available on Amazon, if you buy the 100 foot spool of or 50 foot or whatever it is of five 128, how about you mail me some and then I can replace this? How about that? So. In trade for the information, somebody send me like five feet of five one twenty eight, <laughs> and then I'll upgrade this in the future. But for now, I'm certain that I can get away with using this. And you know, in about a week, this will pop off of the spools because the, the pulleys because it'll be too thick, and I'll be all annoyed and I'll be using it without the uh, ruler again. But oh well.